definitely it was, uh, it was an exciting time for, for the organization. We feel feel good leaving the draft. Um, particularly in Loki's case, feel we uh, you know we added a, a player that can that can help our roster imminently is the hope, and we're excited what happened. The Euro draft is, is never an exact science, so um, you know a lot of networking, um, just kind of a, a lot of conversations that led to uh, that led to kind of one with with his agent and, and with his uh, with his group and, and the more we went down the road the more um, we felt like we were finding a fit and, and going into uh, going into yesterday that was certainly a guy that we were we were hoping could be there and, and when he when he was we were we were really excited to be able to make that addition. For sure, you no know, he is a um, the big body, I think he's 6'3, 215. Um, he's got a lot of junior experience in, in Sweden but also uh, has, has 20 some games under his belt playing playing pro against men and, and of those games um, there, there's a lot of them that were that were on the road and in hard environments against good teams and and he responded very well in those situations so we're uh, we're really excited about him getting here we, we think that uh, I think he can can be um, a defenseman who's extremely hard to play against and, and also you know he moves pucks very well too um, he's getting a great experience in, in Boston this week so um, no, we're excited to have him we think good teams are first and foremost good at keeping the puck out of their net, right? And we want to be a hard team to play against. And um, you know, you don't necessarily have to be six three for you know to be hard to play against. We want we want guys who are competitive. Um, but, but ultimately, with the additions that we made, we feel like we, we have a forward group that um, is going to track the puck well. And we aspire to to forecheck hard and, and make it hard on teams to to have possession against us. Um, and if that flows into a defense core that can make the neutral zone small and um, you know, take care of time and space on guys. Um, I don't feel like those are two really good ingredients to success. Like, like in, in Loki's case, he, um, you know, he's a first year old, but he, he's a 19 year old player as well um, and has that junior experience and that pro experience. And even um, in his home rink, it, it's Olympic ice, but there's some features of it that, that are a little bit more synonymous with North America. So it'll absolutely be a transition for him, but um, we're hoping that the learning curve won't be that steep. Um, and then with, uh, with Aaron's case, it's obviously a very talented young defenseman that uh, um, was recently drafted to, to Minnesota. Um, and so we, we had, had an opportunity to have a couple of conversations with him leading into, uh, leading into the import draft and we just hope to continue those moving forward. You know, both are very talented defensemen with, with Loke. Again, we're, we're really excited for, for him to be here and, and in discussions with his agent and, and with Boston. Um, we're very optimistic about that. And, uh, and with Aaron, we'll just keep we'll keep working forward and, and growing our relationship with uh, with him and, and his camp. But um, you know, regardless, we're really optimistic about uh, what our European situation could look like in August. Yeah, I think we're just missing getting the group on the ice right now. Like like we're um, you know we're excited to uh, to move forward kind of with this group and, and see what they're capable of. Um, you know, well, again, we we don't uh, we don't want to cast any preconceived judgments about what the group is that, that uh, is coming in from last year either. We, we want to give that core an opportunity to get to know us and for us to get to know them and, and for us to, to really see what we have as a group and, and moving into August we'll be we'll keep our, our eyes and ears open for, for ways to improve our roster. We're, we're extremely happy as an organization and proud of Gabe and uh, it was a great day for him and his family and um, we feel like that's a, that's a player just starting to scratch the surface of what he's, what he's capable of and, and obviously Utah recognized that too.